how do you define the menopause brain? How is it different than the teenage brain or the younger woman's brain? What, what is the menopause brain? I love that question. It's not that different, actually, from a brain perspective. And I think this connection has been quite overlooked in women's health and in science and in medicine. But to start with the menopause brain, this is a brain that is in transition. It's a brain that is changing because menopause is actually a neuroendocrine transition. It's a neuroendocrine transition state. This is the best definition that I came across for sure, which means that your brain, your neurological system, and your endocrine system, your hormonal system, are changing together as women undergo the transition. And this literally leads to a rewiring inside the brain. It leads to a remodeling that is important, is biologically clued. There's a reason for it, which is important, but at the same time, it may trigger vulnerabilities, which women experience as hot flashes, night sweats, insomnia, or disturbed sleep, anxiety, depression, the mood swings that people are familiar with, but also brain fog and memory lapses. This is the menopause brain, but when you look at the brain itself, the changes that women experience are actually not so different from the changes that women experience during puberty with the teen brain, and then even more so with pregnancy. We are all familiar with the mommy brain, and I believe that the menopause brain is a little bit of an extension of that. At all these transition states, at all these turning points in a woman's life, the brain goes through a remodeling that, again, there's a reason for this remodeling to happen, but it may lead to vulnerabilities and risks and also increased resilience and greater emotional strength, which I think is something that we, talk, we really don't talk about in society and we don't appreciate that enough.